Hi everybody, how's it going out there? Um, I'm Carrie Adam and I'm the founder of this Running Moms Wellness Community where we are opening a discussion on healthy running and the real conversations that need to happen when you're a mother runner because we know that running does not happen in isolation. We are trying to balance running with career, life, motherhood. Um, it's all a beautiful, chaotic mess. But we are runners and we must run and that's why I've connected us here. Um, I'm gonna give people a few minutes to join on because this is part two of the free video training series I'm leading on how to run strong because there's more to running than just running and running and running and I want you guys able to balance running, get strong, hit your goals and feel amazing and get healthy and happy along the journey. Um, and there's more to it than just grabbing the free training download that you can get anywhere and everywhere. And I know that runners are breaking down um, all over the place, getting injured, um, not eating enough, not sleeping enough, not knowing what to do. So I put this series together for you guys. Um, let's give it a couple minutes um, for other people to join because there are like hundreds of people who signed up for this training and I'll also be sending it out by email if you signed up. Um, to get it if you signed up on the list and um, I'm going to be signing sending out a replay of this video on This one this video number two is on the cutting-edge physical training components of a high-quality run training program To get you building lean muscle running fast fit and strong without injury exhaustion or causing havoc on your hormones or your metabolism um, A little fact about me. I'm in Costa Rica. I'm outside. It's the only place that I can get um a great place to record so my hair usually blows all over the place and the screen might be shaking but uh, you guys will will get the drift here um, and you're gonna catch that so if you stay till the end I have a bonus gift for you a bonus training that I'm gonna give you um, if you stay stick around till the end to hear what that is if you're in the running moms wellness training Academy already you guys are gonna get this um, we're gonna be doing a free training together on Saturday to help you guys run stronger we're gonna dive into some physical stuff um, and if you like this video, if you think this is helpful and you think other people might find it helpful as well, um, I would love if you could like, comment, share this video, even in this private group. I don't think you can share it externally, but just in this group, because that's going to help other people to see it. It's going to help it show up into their news feed so that um, they can also access the value that I'm going to share with you right away in this training program. Um, in this training video, I would really appreciate if you could do that because my goal is to get so many running moms training strong and feeling strong inside and out. That's really important to me. So I think we'll get started. And as you guys come, um, just let me know you're there. I think Deborah, you're there, which is awesome. Hi, this is just going to reinforce what you already know and the plan that you're already following. Deb's in the um, Deborah's in the Running Moms Wellness Training Academy, where I give you guys all my best training plans filled with what we're going to talk about today. You get access to the form video series. You get solid a solid training program to 5K, 10K, or 21K, complete with speed workouts as appropriate, core workouts, strength workouts, and um, appropriate endurance progressions. You do not just run and run and run in my groups. You get strong, and then you're going to crush those long distance goals. So let me see if anyone else is on, let me know. I'm just going to refresh this so that if questions come up, I can see them and get back to you. Um, okay, so let's get started. I am Carrie. As I said, I'm a physiotherapist by trade. I'm the founder of the Running Moms Wellness Training Academy and this group right here where I'm connecting moms who run because we are a unique, very unique breed of women, breed of moms. We need to stick together because not only do we want to excel in our roles as moms and women, and probably we all have careers that we're pushing as well, but we also want to run and feel really good in our bodies. And that's what I'm here to help you do. It's why I've connected us. And I've created this, my signature program called the Running Moms Wellness Training Academy, where I train you guys. I really connect those of you who want to up-level your running and work closely with me and my inner circle of other women who are also pushing career, motherhood, and running goals. Okay, um, this training right now is part of a three-part system that I've put together, a three-part training video series. The first one we did was on high-performance habits to help you um, 
uh, structure and organize your life in a way that allows you to fit it all in so that you can balance that career, that motherhood, that running your life without losing your sanity. So that one, um, that video went live on Monday. If you signed up, you got an email to you. Uh, video two today is the physical components of an excellent training program that is not just going to have you running and running and running and burning yourself out to the point of injury. And then the next video is going to be on macronutrition strategies for mother brother runners to help you curb your sugar cravings, rev your metabolism, um, and kickstart your body into fat burning mode to power up your running and your fitness and your fat loss. So that's going to be coming out on Friday. So this video is on the physical training components because so many runners are out there following the, treat, the free programs, right? They're everywhere that tell you to run and run and run. All the other run training groups out there, communities out there are posting finish line pictures, running marathons and ultra marathons and um, pushing distances and counting distances and, and everyone kind of judges their, their running based on how far they're running and people are going to tell you to push without people will be out there saying, you know, I didn't really train for this, but I'm going to run it anyway, and everyone's really happy, and that's really awesome, but I'm here to tell you, like, it feels better when you train, and you're going to become a better person along the journey when you train. When you train strong physically, you get strong emotionally. That's the whole point of running to me. It's not just about crossing a finish line because you can do it. Like, it's about, about the journey and what you, you learn about yourself, about the discipline, the focus, the strength that you're gonna gain along the way, and that takes an excellent training program to follow along with the mindset, habits, and, and high performance um, qualities that we worked on in video one. So, so what, um, and, I, and I, this is important to me because only running will get, only get you so far. Like running is an amazing sport, right? It helps us with our sanity, it helps us ground our emotions, it's full body, it's good for your bones, your cardiovascular system, like it's good for your mental health, it's good for your brain health, it's good for everything. But if you're only running and running and running, 80% of runners get injured and that's why you, you're gonna miss out on all the good stuff if you get injured because then you can't run and then your emotional health will slide and that will suck. Um, and 70% of people who start an exercise program quit and often it's because you're going too much, you get injured, you drop off or you can't keep up that running and running and running and you quit. And I know that you can get so much more out of your run program if you're training to get strong based on the physical components of a really excellent training program. And that's what we're going to go through today. I'm going to take you through five components of a really good run training program that's not only going to have you running distances. It's gonna have you running those distances really strong and fit and feeling fabulous. Like you're not gonna be dragging your butt across the finish line, you're gonna be finishing that feeling like I'm a fucking badass. Okay, that's how I wanna feel. I don't wanna be um, dragging my butt around um, miserable through the race and then injured at the end with runner's knee. Like that sucks. I want you to be strong, in good form, tight in your core, tight form, feeling really confident in your body. Okay, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. And here's what Megan said. I have a community of mother runners, and I'm going to read you what Megan said, and she's been following with me for, um, for a while. We've been training. Like, this is not something that's going to change for you overnight. Strength training takes time, takes uh, commitment. But she finished a half marathon, and she said, thank you, ladies, for your support and encouragement. Thank you, especially Carrie Adam, for your coaching and programs. I realized that I've attempted two half marathons in my 20s and one in my 30s, and today I'm 43 after two children. While I'm not my fastest I have ever been, this half marathon, I was the strongest. The other half marathons, I either had to walk due to pain or limp across the finish line. My goal was to finish pain-free and enjoy myself, goal accomplished. That is massive because if you can get strong, now she's working on, she can start to work on going faster because once you build that strength base, which runners don't do, especially after babies who just wanna run long, um, if you don't build that strength base, you can't push your distances, you can't push your speeds, you can't push your paces, you can't um, push your body into fat burning mode so you can change your body composition. Um, and that's why I want you training strong. My motto actually for, for my coaching style as a physiotherapist, because I, I don't want to fix you guys when you're hurt, I want to keep you from getting hurt, is to get strong before you go long. If you um, can't run 10K, you shouldn't be running a half marathon. If you can't run a half marathon, um, and feel decent at that half marathon distance, running at least 12 minute intervals, um, 
you shouldn't be running a marathon. You should get strong to that distance first and then push on. And um, it takes time, but there's a lot of good stuff that's going to come from a strong training program. Like, really, trust me, when you can crush a 10K or crush a 5K or crush a half marathon, that's a big deal. Like, that feels amazing. So don't don't think that to to be a good runner you have to run a marathon because it's not true that's actually bs you're a better runner when you can crush a shorter distance and then move on appropriately um it's just it's better for your overall body um, um it's better for overall goals it's better for comp body composition change and you're not gonna get hurt less likely to get hurt um and i get it like i get i get i get why you want to run longer i get why you only run, like my number one <laughs> principle for getting started in an exercise program is doing something that you love and just doing, like if that's what you're gonna do and you're gonna love it, then do it because there's so much um, mental health associated with, with running, so run. But if you wanna change body composition, if you wanna set paces, if you wanna stay injury free, if you wanna go longer distances, stronger, not get injured, you're gonna want it train you don't want to up level your training like if you're going to put the work in anyways you've got to do some of the harder work which we're going to talk about today that isn't just running but it's going to benefit you in so many ways um and i know that you run because you love running and you run for sanity and you run um as a way to ground your energy and i did that too like i love to run it is always going to be my exercise of choice but i know that i can't get injured because then i can't run I know that I want to run for a very, very long time. I'm going to be the 80-year-old crossing the marathon finish lines and setting setting um, records because that's what I want and that's how I'm training. I'm not just training for this one race. I'm not just going to push myself across the finish line and say I did it. No, I'm going to finish strong and I want to run for a very, very long time in my life and so I train myself accordingly, okay? Um, and after I had babies, I wasn't strong. I was disconnected from my core. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't eating properly. I wasn't practicing self-care because I was adjusting to this new life with babies and career and my marriage was struggling. And so I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran myself into the ground. I was irritable. I was sugar craving. I was binge eating crappy food all the time. I was not fueling my body to support the miles I was doing. And yes, I could drag myself across the finish line, um, but I hurt myself so badly on so many levels. And then I couldn't run for six months in the middle of a Canadian Prairie winter and I thought I was gonna die. But what I did was get strong during that time and that's sort of what has led to all this, despite the fact that I'm a physio and I understand all the strength training, um, I just didn't wanna do it. I didn't wanna do the strength training because I only love to run. But what happened when I got injured and I worked on getting strong and rehabbing myself in this basement gym in the ba in the dark was that I got strong, like really freaking strong. And I built myself back up. I stopped running half marathons because I didn't have time. I refused to lose sleep over it anymore. I refused um, to skip meals because I didn't have time to prep because I had to get my long run done. And I focused on eating and I focused on getting strong and I focused on reconnecting to my core and fixing my diseases rec and fixing my diseases recti that happened after kids from pushing too much. Um, I took care of my pelvic floor during that period of time and now, you know, four years since that happened because I put the hard work in, I'm fitter and faster and stronger and healthier than I've ever been in my life and that is what I'm bringing to you guys. So, you need to be doing more than running and running and running if you want to feel the same way, if you want to achieve those goals, if you want to transform your running and your health and your happiness, you want to be doing strength work, okay? If you have body composition, change goals. We're going to talk a little more about this, but if you have composition goals that you want to change, if you want to get fit and lean and sexy, you've got to be doing more than just running and running and running. Um, and we'll talk about that. So, physical training components. What are the five components of an excellent training plan. One, form and alignment. You need to dial in that form and alignment. It's gonna make you more efficient. We're gonna go into these deeper right away. Um, number two, strength, specific runner, strength training. Number three, specific runner, postpartum, core power training. Number four, speed interval training, burst interval speed training. And number five, component of a good program is running, right? You need the easy runs, but it's not all you need. You need the other four components as well. Um, so let's first talk about form and alignment. Form and alignment's really important as a runner. 
And hey, remember, 80% of runners get injured, and it's because your form is off, your alignment is off, you're not strong enough, your body isn't strong enough as you start to ramp up your distances. So what happens is, instead of running from here, nice and strong, you start to do this. The arms start to shift. Um, <clears throat> and when that happens, remember, I'm a physio, right? Like, form and alignment is my thing. When this starts to happen, this starts to go, and you, you start running like this, and that's when things start to rub and shift and pivot, and that's when you get runner's knee, and that's when you get um, hip bursitis, that's when you get um, ankle tent or uh, plantar fasciitis, any tendonitis, back pain, all that stuff from poor form and alignment. And that poor form and alignment happens because your body isn't strong enough to keep yourself in good alignment as you increase the distances. And often as runners, we're not taught about form and alignment, right? Like the free training plan's not telling you that you need to lean forward a little bit, that your arms need to go back and forth, that you need to, um, you know, where you need to drive from, where your hips should be, like, the free programs aren't telling you that stuff, so you need to tune into your form and alignment, and this video isn't about form and alignment. I have, uh, I think it's an eight-part um, webinar series that is, that does walk you through head-to-toe good form and alignment, starting with your posture and your breath and moving down body part by body part and what you should be focused on um, to bring mindfulness into your running so that you are running tall and you are reducing um, you running out of alignment, okay? Um, and that's again where it's not all about running long, that's how, how you get injured. So I want you guys dialed into form and alignment. It needs to be part of the training. Um, all the videos I give you, all the workout videos I give you in the Running Moms Training Academy, I, if you follow along with me and do the strength workout and the core workout, I talk about form, I talk about alignment, I give you the cues that you need to focus on that stuff. Because um, a lot of times that's all it is. It's not just about pushing through the squats and pushing through the run, it's about you know, slowing down sometimes and really creating a mind-body connection so that you can work in good flow and alignment and that's gonna reduce your rate of injury and it's gonna make you a more efficient better, faster, stronger runner when you can run, right? Because if when you're doing this, you're wasting energy doing this, you know, your lungs aren't able to expand, you're not breathing properly, so the running feels harder, you can't push as far, right? So that's why form alignment is really important. It needs to be a part of your program, you need to understand good form, and you need to be mindful of good form in every run you go on. Number two, part of an excellent run training program from a physical perspective is strength work. Now, strength work is key because, I just printed up a graphic yesterday, I just wanna list these off here, because strength work is key for a lot of reasons. Strength work is what's gonna help keep your body in alignment, in, uh, can you hear that? It's the, they're always um, cutting grass or doing something here, so it's always loud. Um, strength work is what's gonna train your body, train your muscles to hold you in good form and alignment while you're ramping your distances up. If you're not doing strength, you're not doing form, those muscles are gonna get tired, you're gonna be out, so good form helps you stay injury free. Strength work is gonna push your body out of your comfort zone so that you can build lean muscle. Lean muscle helps you rev, um, helps you burn more calories for 24 hours, up to 48 hours after you're done your strength training workout. Running slow and steady only allows you to burn more calories while you're working out, so you're hungry after, but your body hasn't revved its metabolism in that time, so you're just hungry and eating. When you do strength work, you're hungry because your body is churning, it, like your metabolism is revved, it's burning more calories, it needs more calories. Muscle uses more calories than fat does than anything else does. The more lean muscle you have, the hungrier you get, the more calories you burn, the better your fat loss potential is. When you learn to eat, which we talk about in the fourth video, when you learn to fuel those muscles, your body is gonna turn into a fat burning machine, okay? Strength training. Um, it reduces injury, it's going to help you run faster, it's going to help you run longer, it's going to help you run stronger, um, and it's going to make you feel really badass, okay? Getting strong, training strong, it just changes the game. Instead of like running and being exhausted and tired, you're going to finish that hill strong, you're going to finish that workout, and you're going to be like, yes, I am a badass. Like strength work is, is amazing, you guys, when you start doing it consistently and start to get results. Um, and it comes, it comes along with all of that good stuff. So in the Running Moms Training Academy, every week, whether you're a beginner, I actually recommend that beginner runners 
start with strength work first. You build strength if you're a new runner, if you're a new mom and you're cleared for exercise, you start with strength work first because um, you got to get build that base of fitness before you start to run off of it because again that's why you get injured 80 percent of runners get injured because they go too far too soon too fast without that solid base of support okay so strength is important for that in the in the training academy in all my programs you're going to do um, a hit training program workout at least once a week and these are dynamic full body and I use high intensity interval training and that can that can you know that can mean a lot of things it, it's usually like you work really hard for a short amount of time and then you rest mine is, is about that but it's not just about working really hard really um, without being mindful it's about not just going to your max it's about doing those squats those lunges those single leg kickbacks with really good quality form and mindfulness so that you can build the strength that you need to build and then you can push it. I always tell my runners that you, you, these workouts never get easier, you get stronger, right? Like you need to do the HIIT workouts. So six exercises that I think all runners need to do, and I've done videos on this before, squats, lunges, side planks, single leg kickbacks. What else have I got there? Oh, and then side skaters. You wanna be working those side, the glutes, okay? You're, you're, your um, gluteus medius working on the sides because running is this way but when you get tired all these other muscles get weak so we've got to build those muscles up so they hold you in alignment those are the basic six that I use in almost every workout I give you guys and as you get stronger you take that squat you turn into a jump squat right you take that jump squat and you do it faster you take that single leg lunge and then you start um, you start doing it faster you take you start jump lunging it split lunging it right that side plank, you're gonna be able to start with a side plank. You might only be able to do 20 seconds to begin with because you've never done a side plank before. You're gonna get stronger. As you push your body, it gets stronger. That's how it works. It's phenomenal. You're gonna start doing some, some rotations through your trunk in that side. You're gonna start doing some hip lifts on that side. You are going to get strong, and when you get strong, you run better, okay? So strength work is something that needs to be in every program. Again, the free training programs, I don't think they're giving you strength work. And if you're following, I I prefer to do strength work. That's gonna that's gonna make me strong for running, um, and that's really key. I like dynamic work exercises. I like full body exercises. I'm not going to the gym. Do you ever use weights, resistance bands for strength training? Gym? Just getting to that actually, great question, Chrissy. I only I don't go to a gym. I don't have any equipment that I lug around because um, I'm I'm in Costa Rica. And I don't think that you need to make it fancy. Keep it simple body weight works um, like I said once you get good at the squat there's always ways to make it more difficult I, I challenge you right now to do 20 jump squats like that shit is hard okay so you don't you don't need any equipment I don't do any equipment because a lot of people can't get to the gym um, and I also like I don't like gym equipment um, I, I like my workouts to be um, dynamic full body I like them to be weight-bearing because running is weight-bearing and we have to be coordinated and move everything together. So that's how I like to, to do my training. And again, like I said, it never gets easier. You get stronger. You, you create this better mind-body connection and next time you do the exact same workout, you're going to be able to push it, okay? So my other motto is keep it simple. You don't need to get to a gym. You really, really don't and a lot of people will tell you you do. Um, at some level, maybe you do, but I'm not, I don't think that you need to. Um, number three part of an excellent physical training run program is core work. Your core, it's not about a six pack. Your core, the function of your core as a runner is to power up your running, okay? It'll, your strong core is going to keep you in good posture. It's going to allow you to be strong through here so you can pump your arms. It's going to be strong here so you can have good pelvic, um, alignment so you can drive your legs off of there really strong you're going to protect your back your pelvic floor when you can support and get strong through that core and when you build that base of core strength that base of strength in general you can push your strength workouts more you can push your speed workouts more that's where you're going to shed more fat that's how you're going to get your abs back that's how you're going to get lean you're welcome christy that's where you're going to get lean when you can be 
strong through your core and strong through your leg muscles and the little muscles that, that you need to become a good, fast, strong runner. Um, as moms, core work is really important, especially you new moms or anyone who hasn't done a lot of core work. Um, I used to go to the November project after my babies. We did a ton of crunches, ton of planks, all that stuff, and I made my diastasis recti way worse. I used to pee when I ran because um, with a diastasis recti and, and a weak abdominal system and a weak back, um, as you're running, that pressure of the running is going, your pelvic floor gets shot and you, you, you have no control, right? So if you're peeing out there, you need to see pelvic health physiotherapist, really, really key. Um, I also recommend those of you who haven't been running for a long time, you start with core and strength workout before you start running long, this is why. And those of you who've recently had a baby and you haven't gotten back up and running but you want to, work on your core and your strength first. Core workouts are a key piece of my training program every week as well. And what, I, what we experience in my, my, my runners as well is if you skip the core workouts long enough, like you're gonna, you're gonna feel it. Like your running is gonna get harder. You're gonna, that pelvic floor is gonna give out on you. If I don't do my core work and I run tired or if I run, if I'm doing a workout where I'm gonna push myself and really push my strength or push my speed or push my distance, even if I'm doing the rest of it, if I'm, if I'm not doing the core work, my pelvic floor is the first place that I go, that, that the first part of my body that gives out on me, and then I start to feel like I have to pee, or I do pee when I run, so I have to be constantly working on my pelvic floor and my core and my back. It's really an important piece of running, because without it, I, I can't run, right? The core is really important, and I'm not talking um, crunches. Everyone thinks crunches, but I don't do any crunches. I don't recommend them just because what happens when you do that is you're actually putting all that pressure down into your lower abdominal um, part of your body and pushing it out, putting, pushing all that pressure out. You're not actually strengthening anything that you need for running. So um, in my program, I have the core fit series one to four and we kind of just repeat that all the time because doesn't you don't need anything different. Just keep doing it. I don't need to keep you entertained in these programs. You need to just do the work. Um, and every time you do them, you get stronger and you can you, you will um, experience improvement in that area. Um, that's about mindful connection. Um, what else can I say about core? Yeah, you need to do it every week. Oh, I know it was. And when you do it with form and alignment with the videos that I give you, um, everything becomes a core exercise because your core turns on for everything you do. Every step you take when you run, every squat, every lunge, every time you go up a stair, you have to be engaging that core. So when you learn how to connect your body, um, your mind to your core muscles, to your to your body in general, you're going to be able to recruit that core and help it become more coordinated because a lot of times we're sitting all day, we're not using that core. So it's not turning on, there's no body connection um, and it's not working and so we struggle, we get injured, we're, we're not able to hold that form in alignment. So this is all connected, right? We wanna build a strong base of support is very very key for runners and especially for postpartum runners and we always must be working on that core safe and strong I give you that in the running home training Academy you get access to those workouts and then number four piece of an excellent physical training run program is speed work you know, speed work is for those of you who have some experience in running you can't, beginners, I don't recommend speed work. If you just had a baby, I don't recommend speed work. Um, it's for someone who's been, has some base fitness. It's for someone who's been running consistently for a while and wants to get stronger and, and fitter and faster. Um, and it's about pushing outside your comfort zone. That slow, steady state running only takes you so far. Eventually your body's gonna adapt and then so nothing changes. You need to, you can either run longer and that's gonna, you're gonna get there and you're gonna adapt or you can learn how to push your body out of that safe comfort zone and do some sprint workouts. And I love sprint workouts because you don't need more than 30 minutes. Um, and you learn to push your body, you learn to see what it can handle. And this is where your strength comes in, right? Like you gotta be strong to push these workouts. And they can range my workouts, speed workouts. So I have a whole speed, speed training vault in the Training Academy membership site. And you know, they range from 20 second interval workouts to 30 second to pyramids that take you all the way up to a minute and a half of strong pushing. And it's about training your body to hold yourself in good alignment 
over a longer period of time. So pushing your body into the state of oxygen debt, like you're pushing hard, okay? And you push your body into some oxygen debt. What happens is to re recover that oxygen debt as you recover in the days between your workouts, your body's gonna turn, tap into your fat system. It's gonna start to burn more fat. So you become more metabolically efficient when you start doing strength training. And, or sorry, when you start doing speed training in addition to the strength training. I love speed work. Um, I don't need to run long to find that zen, that flow, that grounding space of running that I know we love, that high of the long run. I find it in the speed work. Like, I don't have time to run long during the week, and speed work has literally, speed work, core work, and strength hitch training has, like, transformed my running body. It's crazy. My body composition has changed. Um, my, my fueling, when I combine that with good fueling, like, I can just feel my body burning through food, and I crave short workouts, so hill sessions, 20 second Tabata intervals, um, uh, pyramid sessions, like they're amazing. I've learned so much about my body by doing these. I know how to push it, I know when it needs to pull back. So when I go into those longer distance training runs once a week, um, I can handle them. Like my body knows how to handle that stuff and I'm stronger for it, I'm a better runner for it. And then your paces over time naturally get faster without feeling like more effort, right? Like my paces naturally slowly get faster. My time for the 10K will naturally slowly get better without um, me feeling like I'm working harder. Like I can maintain a 55 10K, a 55 minute 10K without much effort now when that used to be like a huge effort. But that doesn't happen overnight. It happens over years of consistently training, following an excellent full body focused, runner training program not just running and running and running the fifth part of an excellent run training um, program talking about the physical components only is the actual running right you do need to run to, to become a runner so you need to still fit in some easy runs in there some recovery runs every weekend is a long slow distance run um, I never run more than 12 minutes and I recommend all my runners to run intervals um, up to sort of 12 minutes. For me, I like the 12 minute run, the one minute walk, because that 10 minutes doesn't feel like enough, 15 minutes feels like too much, 12 minutes is a really nice distance. There's no science behind this, I just love it. And interval training is fabulous for the long distance part of it because it allows you to reset. I'm always about injury prevention. I do not want to get injured ever again. And I don't want you to get injured because I don't want to see you in the clinic. I don't want to fix your injuries. I want you to stay injury free. So when you reset every 12 minutes on that long run, you're gonna have a little break physically, mentally, and then you're gonna be ready to get going again, okay? So you're gonna reset your form, your alignment, give your body a little bit of a break. You are still a runner when you take rest breaks. You're actually a smarter runner. You're going to become a stronger runner because of it. Um, you're gonna be able to run longer because of it with better form. Um, what else about the long run? The, they should be slow on the weekends, you know? Enjoy the slow, steady state, easy workout, okay? That's um, really focusing in on your body, tuning that in, but that should be part of your program as well. If you're building distance, you better do that. But you don't wanna be running 10K long and slow every single day. You're gonna break yourself down, you're gonna burn out, um, you're gonna burn through muscle instead of building muscle. You're gonna be hungry and sugar craving without raising your body's ability to burn more calories, rev metabolism, and shed fats. You're just gonna be eating more of the food, which is why runners often gain weight as they build distance. I don't want that for you. What else can I say? Those are the five components of a really good training program, you guys. The free programs out there aren't teaching you this stuff. That's why I do it. I used to run and run and run. That's why I do it. And when you can do those five components of training, and you know what? A lot of you guys are running and running and running already. Like, you love running. Um, all you need to do is tighten up that training. Up level a little bit of your training. Start to take your training seriously. Um, you're still going to get the emotional side of training. You're still going to find the sanity. Um, I find still the HIIT workouts and the core workouts are hard to get started because I just want to run. But when I get into them, I just lose my head in them and they, they break me down in 20 to 30 minutes and I feel amazing. I hope I'm not losing internet here. I might be. Um, and when you combine these strength, core, speed, endurance, form and alignment, physical training components with 
consistency with mindfulness and with um, macronutrition strategies to fuel yourself back up at that cellular level, you are going to hit some serious PRs. You are going to get longer, stronger. You are going to have some body composition changes that are going to feel amazing. And when women train to get strong and run strong, they get strong both physically and emotionally. And that is why I bring this to you. And you're going to stay injury free because no one wants to be dealing with injury. Like why bother with that? Um, so the next video training is going to be happening on Friday, just like this. My kids will be home, so it should be interesting. They've got the day off, which I didn't know. <laughs> um, and it's going to be on macronutrition strategies to help you learn exactly what you need to do to curb your sugar cravings, curb those hunger, hungry runner cravings, rev metabolism, um, kick your body into fat burning mode and power up your running and your fitness and your fat loss, okay? Without dieting, restricting, or counting calories because all of that is bullshit and you don't have to take a shake, okay? Like you can do this, and I'm gonna teach you how, I'm gonna teach you my simple strategies um, without going crazy about food, okay? If you know that you want to join the Running Moms Wellness Training Academy because you want a really good quality training program, I invite you to join us. It's open from now until Sunday and then I'm closing registration so I can focus on training these ladies and getting them up and into run strong training. Um, you're gonna get access to my membership site which has all of your program needs covered. I've got like six or seven programs to fit different fitness levels for 5K, 10K, 21K, all laid out with appropriate um, strength, core and speed training um, and endurance building within them. So all your all your uh, training needs are covered. There's a training vault full of, um, sorry, there's a strength training vault full of all of my favorite strength programs, strength workouts with videos. There's the core training vault with all the core workouts. There is the yoga training video. I should have actually added yoga to this. I think mobility training and yoga is really important. So I put a bunch of my favorite video links in there for some mobility work for you. Um, what else? Speed. There's a speed training vault so that you always have access to speed workouts if you're needing some anytime. You get access to it for an entire year. You also get to up level your training and work with us. I do live videos every week. We talk about high performance habits, consistency, um, strength training, core training. Like We talk about it all. I give you weekly challenges to help you keep taking action. I'm there to help you through anything any questions that you have along the way, especially your injury questions. I can't diagnose, assess, or manage you, but I sure as heck can help you um, prevent, help you consult, help you seek the help that you need when you need it. Uh, I would not say 80% of my runners get injured because we are always on top. We're always checking into our bodies. We're always moving with mindfulness and focusing on form and alignment. In the program, you're also gonna get um, all the nutrition stuff. There's a 12-week program on how to run strong, uh, using the three components of my of my training, which are the physical training components, the nutrition component, and the mindset component. So there's a 12-week program in there, a uh, video program that you can work through. Um, and if you sign up by Friday, on Saturday morning, I'm going to be doing the form video series. We're going to be doing that together as a team. It's going to be online. I'm going to post the videos one to eight. We're going to work through that together so you can really tune into your form and alignment because that's going to help you run strong naturally and I want you to have that information. So if you join between before Friday, um, you're going to save $150 on the program because it's on sale until Friday. You're also going to get access to join us in, in the free training, in the training program. That's for my members only and it's going to be, I'll be there live. We're going to be talking about um, the eight different components of running uh, with good form and alignment. Um, it's going to be a really good one and the information's there. but. Sometimes it's nice to do it together, meet and chat about it as we go. So we're gonna do that on Saturday. Ladies, if you're watching and you're in the academy, we're doing that Saturday morning. Um, I'll probably do it early. I'm at I'm 6 a.m. I'm 6 central time, so we'll probably do it early, either before your run or you can catch it later, but you're gonna have access to that and I'll do that in a special group. Um, what else, you guys? I hope that was helpful. Um, I know a lot of people are running and running and running. I love that. I think that's awesome. I think that's a great place to start. And I think um, that you can you can push yourself. I think that you can get better results. I think that you're going to feel better. I think that you want to run stronger. Why wouldn't you, you know? If you're putting in the work anyways, you know, get a good, solid program. Get an excellent program and push yourself because you're going to feel amazing. 
I'll post the link below to sign up for the Wellness Academy if you want. If you have any questions, please email me. I am standing by, message me, comment below. Again, if you found this video helpful, I would love if you could comment or like, um, or let me know that you're there watching at least. And um, I want other people to learn this stuff because I want you guys training strong and feeling awesome in your bodies and also setting yourself up to run healthy and run for the long term because running in this way when you're mindful of your form and your alignment you're working on getting strong because when you get strong you're going to age so much better trust me that's where i spent my career and old people falling often it's because they have no connection to their bodies and there's a lot of weakness that happens so i want you guys getting strong and running for a lifetime set yourself up now get strong connect with community, surround yourself with positive support, get accountability, and get a strong, solid, cutting-edge, science-based training program that's gonna help you achieve all of your running, body, and life goals. Um, and I would love to coach you there. I'd love to have you come on into our inner circle, and um, we do so much in that group. <laughs> um, thank you so much, have an awesome day.